Yo, what's up guys? It is your friendly neighborhood SDR and I bet you did not realize that marketers, including my own CMO, use a lot of budget to bring the right people to our website. But as with a lot of things inbound, they don't have control. Most of the time, they don't have a clue who's showing up regardless of who their content, ads, referral partners, and inbound links are targeted at. In our case, even hand raisers, inbound leads, half the time don't fit the target audience. You know, when people don't raise their hands, we don't have a way to reach out to them because we don't know who they are. Or at least that was the way it used to be here at Science. So how do we solve this? Website visitor tracking. Master against our huge data sets. Website visitor tracking is a vital tool for companies that want to know what's happening on their websites. It can be used to track visitors and then follow up with them quickly and effectively. And all before that top of mind reason that they came to our website in the first place wears away. Wait, remind me again, what was I talking about? Oh, sorry. See what I mean? Now I'm supposed to tell you how complex and super advanced tracking website visitors is because I mean, that's the role among two cool tech companies, right? Right? But you guys know me and I got you. I'm gonna keep it real with you. And it turns out tracking website visitors is actually very simple and it only requires one line of JavaScript code in the header of your website. Yep, that's it. And we call this a tracking pixel. Now I can hear you guys all aggressively typing away at your computer saying, Bobby, what the heck is a pixel? Guys, calm down. A pixel is literally just a piece of code that can be added to a website. Don't kill me. So when a user visits a site, the pixel fires and records this event, sending data back to science to match against our records to attempt to match the formerly anonymous visitor. And many people call this first party intent because we are tracking events or visits to a web page on your site. In other words, because it's your site, you are the first party who can track your users. Now guys, I have such a juicy secret I've been waiting to share with you and you guys are gonna be the first to hear it. Here at Science, we developed one of the most effective visitor tracking tools to date, largely because of this matching criteria. And we call this Science Go Show. Go Show is a pixel that you stick to your website that shows you a really in-depth look at who's visiting your site. As we start with the ability to match IP addresses, where the visitor is actually coming from, then match elements like company and company domain, or the website of the company the visitor works for. Then we even get the function or the role within the company, the seniority of that person. Guys, this is Go Show. Science also connects Go Show to Go Data to match the contact further and go even deeper. Go Data identifies all kind of useful data and elements about both a company, size, revenue, industry, founded date, location, and other fun facts. Then the contact details we reveal, like title, department, email, phone, location, and more. Come on, guys. We're literally giving you the people. This new platform gives you the ability to turn anonymous inbound traffic into targeted outbound and people that express interest in you. Literally, Go Show shows what otherwise would be anonymous. No more needle in a haystack. As a marketer, you use your effort to bring as many people to your website as possible. Every click costs money, so don't you wanna know who's visiting and who could be your next customer? I'd say so. But enough talk. How about we take a look? Come on. Now, as I mentioned before in marketing, a lot of money is invested to get people to your website, but we really don't know who they are, what they do, age gap, etc. This is why we developed Go Show. Through our visual ID system, you'll be able to identify the anonymous traffic happening live on your landing pages and enhance your existing ideal customer profiles. Now, once the Go Show tracking pixel identifies a new user, your team will be able to perform a number of activities like viewing specific pixel data attached to a prospect's IP address like company domain, company name, and even their job function. You can also filter pixel data within a specific window of time. And an even cooler thing, you can even export pixel data as a CSV file for easy implementation into your CRM. GoShow can collect multiple identifiers from different sources like HEM, cookies, device IDs, phone numbers, etc. Instead of simply focusing on website traffic, this allows your marketing team and sales team to have a broader coverage when it comes to identifying anonymous website traffic, unveiling a huge potential for further business growth. 
important, guys, with these key actions at your disposal, you'll be able to push a cold call while the user is still on your website. You can even trigger retargeting ads after they've exited it or simply include this new account in your marketing outreach campaign. Now, guys, there are a lot of tools that can display elementary traits from an unknown website visitor, but GoShow commits to getting the full picture. Now, guys, stick around because next we'll take a deep dive into the GoData tab and how it integrates with GoShow to give you even more highly valuable pixel data without any effort. And guys, if you want to take a deeper dive, you can always head to www.science.com. And until then, I am your friendly neighborhood SDR. And remember, it's not sales. It's science. See you guys next time.